Hey guys, this is Zach from Next Tech News, and today Millen from Texanium and I decided we were going to do a collaboration video on the differences of Android M and Android N. So we're going to find out what the real differences are between the two operating systems by comparing two different phones, one with Android M and one with Android N. So the two phones I'm using for this comparison are the Nexus 5X, which still has Android 6.0 on it, which is Android M, and the Nexus 6P, which is now updated to Android 7.1, which is Android N. On August 17th, 2015, Google revealed in its Mountain View location that Android M stood for Marshmallow by unveiling the Android Marshmallow statue. On August 22nd, 2016, Google again revealed in Mountain View its new Android statue of Android N, which stood for Android Nougat. Android M was definitely a evolutionary step forward for Android rather than a revolutionary step forward. It took the lollipop formula and rather than changing it completely, it just improved on what was already there. Android M's highlight features were Now on Tap, Doze, App Permissions, and Android Pay. Now on Tap was a way of Google taking a snapshot of what you were looking at and taking context clues from what you're looking at and applying that into a search for you. This could create a calendar event, find videos of a game you were looking at, or find what movies a certain actor was playing it that you were talking about. Now on tap was a very convenient feature. Doze was a feature primarily implemented to help with the battery life of any smartphone. Basically, it works how it sounds. When your phone is in idle, Doze will shut down application processes to conserve battery. So basically, battery life is the name of the game, but only if the phone's in idle. Users that use a lot of screen on time won't notice that much of a difference with Doze because it requires a lot of idle time to save battery life. However, average users who don't use a ton of screen on time would notice a difference. With app permissions, an Android user now has the ability of controlling what an app has access to. The user can give each app as much control or as little control as it wants over their phone. So you can deny it contacts usage, um, phone usage, storage usage, location usage, whatever. You can control it all. So for example on Facebook, a very intrusive app, you can block a lot of the things that you would consider intrusive like knowing your contacts, knowing your location, being able to use your phone, everything. The only thing you'll ever lose is a couple features that require those within Facebook. And one of the biggest features of Android M, especially since Apple already came out with their version of this, was Android Pay. Android Pay was a two-piece puzzle. It required native fingerprint scanning support for authentication purposes, and it required more conjoined work between Google and banks than the Google Wallet originally had. When it was released, Apple Pay was its main competitor, and to this day they do share a lot of similarities. Android Pay is something that is extremely easy to use. All you have to do is make sure that the terminal has the correct symbol that you can use Android Pay, you unlock your phone, and you tap it to that symbol. It's literally that easy. Android N was another evolutionary update rather than a revolutionary one. It again took what Marshmallow already had to offer and improved upon that. So what did Android N actually change? Well, it improved upon the Doze feature from Android M, it officially added multi-window mode that Samsung's and LG's have had for the past couple years. It added a way of quick switching between two different applications that you had open. It modified the notification bar toggles and quick settings. It changed the layout of the settings menu. It added a quick reply feature in the notification window. And only in Android 7.1, it added app shortcuts. 
In Android 7.0 Nougat, Google now calls Doze Doze on the go. The reason they changed the name was because in the original Doze, it didn't actually go into that Doze mode until the phone was lying completely still. So basically, it would only actually go into Doze mode if your phone was lying on a table flat and not moving. In the new version of Doze, now it can recognize when it's in your pocket, but just not being used, and it will go into Doze mode even if you're moving around and stuff like that. So now we should start seeing much better improvements on battery from Doze on the go. I personally have noticed a difference between my Nexus 5X that is still running on Android 6.0, and my Nexus 6P that is now running on Android 7.1. With Android 7.0, Google also made multi-window mode finally native to Android. Multi-window mode has been available through LG and Samsung and other manufacturers throughout the years, but it's finally now available in the actual Android code. This means that now more app developers will support the feature, and it should become better each year. To enable multi-window, all you have to do is have two applications that support multi-window open in your multitasking menu. Go to the multitasking button and slide one up to the top and then choose which one's going to be on the bottom. You can also enable a swipe up feature from the multitasking button that immediately puts an application into multi-window mode. Quick multitasking is another unique feature added in Android 7.0. Now you can double tap the multitasking button and immediately switch between the last two apps. Here you can see the differences between the quick settings menus on the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P. The Nexus 5X is on the left and is the one running on Android Marshmallow. The Nexus 6P is on the right and is the one running on Android Nougat. Again you can see the differences between the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P in their settings menu. One of the coolest things about Android 7.0 is now the settings menu has a little hamburger menu to the side where you can quickly toggle between different settings. In Android 7.0, they initiated a new feature called Quick Reply. Basically, in the notification drawer, you can now click the reply button and respond directly from the notification tray. So now the feature exclusive to Android 7.1. In this small update, you now have the ability of app shortcuts. You know that little feature that required 3D touch in the iPhones that was basically app shortcuts? Yeah, that's this feature, but without the hardware implementation. This is just a pure software version of app shortcuts. So with this implementation, rather than using 3D touch to get to the app shortcuts, all it requires is a long press. You can still long press the applications and uninstall them or slide them around, but it's a longer long press than it used to be. So far it has very limited support, just basically the Google applications, but as app developers start getting into it, obviously more apps will support this feature. So those are the differences between Android M and Android N. I hope you guys really liked that comparison video, and a great shout out to Millen from Texanium for having me on his channel. I hope you guys subscribe to him, as well as me and my channel. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!